Hello everyone, nice to have you back for another episode of our 107 channel. We will continue with another video in our KI Chetronic series. In previous videos we were dealing with various different problems of different components involved in this orchestra of this very complex ignition system. We were checking their functioning, well, of some of them. Today's topic is the default position of our baffle plate. This one is one of the first steps you take when having problems with your KI Chetronic. So you check this one here first. Before the mass airflow sensor, before the electronic hydraulic actuator, provided that the cables leading from the coil to the sparks are not damaged, having the right dimensions, the right resistance, the proper sparks are being used and sitting tightly in their positions. The coil is probably working. Provided the petrol pumps are working properly as they should, provided you have checked the fuel pressure at the twin pumps to make sure they develop enough fuel pressure, you have one pump only when having a six cylinder model and twin pumps for the eight cylinder models. The pumps have to provide enough pressure for the mixture regulator so this one can deliver enough fuel for each cylinder. I have combined all the relevant videos of this KI Chetronic topic in a separate playlist. The links are being displayed with the video description to watch them again. So how to define the right position of the baffle plate, as this is the basic requirement for a smooth running engine. For this we need a digital sliding gauge. If your one is not digital it can be done nevertheless, but by far not as precise. This one is the only tool which we'll need in today's video. Hey, and we will not even get our hands dirty for a change. Let us start right after introduction. Stay tuned, please. For sure you have to take out your air filter housing. I have done that already. Give me a dime for every time I removed that air filter housing. Now we get in the driver seat and turn the ignition key into position 2 so the fuel pumps produce fuel pressure. So here we are in the driver seat. We turn the key into position 2 for 20 seconds and 3 times. You can hear the sound of the humming fuel pumps working from underneath the car. Let us go back to the engine bay. First step, the default position of our battle plate is a 30.07 on our digital sliding gauge, being measured at the center of this plastic cover on top of it. There you go, 30.07 are quite alright as a default position. Step number 2. Now we measure the tolerance which should not be more than a 1.2 mm by slightly pressing on the baffle plate till I feel resistance and cannot push it downwards any further. As mentioned earlier on, this tolerance should not exceed a 1.2 mm. For our demonstration here, I now press it downwards. The default position was a 30.07 mm. Now we have a 30.37 mm. Some 1.2 to 1.5 mm is quite a fair tolerance, which is acceptable. If the tolerance at your engine is exceeding a 1.5 mm, you can correct this at your CO2 bolt, which is sitting in here. At some vehicles, there still is a plastic plaque on it. Just remove that one and insert a 3 mm imbus. If the tolerance of the baffle plate is larger than a 1.5 mm, you turn to the right and repeat, checking the tolerance of the plate, meaning Turn key in position 2 for 20 seconds, switch on, switch off 3 times. You keep on repeating this fine tuning with the imbus until your baffle plate is within the desired tolerance. If the tolerance is less than a 1.2 mm, you turn that imbus to the left and repeat all the steps as before mentioned. Once you got this right, you can continue with the other components involved in this orchestra of your Chetronic. I keep repeating myself, 
Turn inbus to the right if tolerance is more than 1.5 mm. Turn inbus to the left if tolerance is below 1.5 mm. Simple as that. Repeat all steps such as key in position number 2. Keep it switched on for 20 seconds. Do this at 3 times. The more tolerance you have, the less fuel is in the petrol air mixture. If tolerance is below 1.2 mm, your air fuel mixture is rather rich. Once you got all this right, avoid touching the CO2 bolt ever again. Just forget about it. It does not exist. Once you've done it, it doesn't exist no more. Forget about If engine is still running rough, check all the other components involved in this orchestra. As mentioned before, get yourself a digital sliding gauge to make it easy on yourself. Well, this is it for today. Hope you've liked it. And we didn't get our hands dirty, did we? Hope to see you soon with our next episode of our 107 channel. Take care everyone. Hope to have you back soon.